Collision response for thin materials is highly nonlinear, and for many configurations, forces are not seen up to first and second order expansions. It is not until we apply a third order expansion that forces are able to act. If we employ a low order response technique, this can lead to instabilities, as we see in this example, where artificial kinks and discontinuities destabilize the simulation. One possible solution employs a nonlinear solve, but this approach is very expensive and not tractable for large systems. Fortunately, the fully nonlinear approach is overkill. While we observe that collision response is often strongly nonlinear, it is effectively first order in many other configurations. Based on these observations, we introduce a new algorithm that adapts to the degree of nonlinearity at hand. We employ a sufficient degree of nonlinearity to maintain stability, while at the same time avoiding expensive full nonlinear solves. Equipped with this adaptive nonlinear response algorithm, we can efficiently and stably simulate collisions for thin materials. Our algorithm is able to simulate a large number of hairs subject to an immense collection of contacts. We can take aggressive, stable time steps that are in general orders of magnitude greater than previously possible. Here we explore the impact of increasing the hair count, noting that all rendered rods are simulated. We do not fill in hairs after simulation. In the largest example, we resolve collisions for systems with 64,000 hairs. To save computation, one might consider using the result of a single unconstrained Newton iteration as the initial point for our response algorithm. This leads to jittering artifacts, however, as we see on the left. We obtain stable behavior by instead initializing with the root of a full unconstrained Newton solve, as we see on the right. By stably resolving many contacts, we see the emergence of complex local structures in these rod assemblies. In these examples, with dry friction alone, we observe the dynamic formation of locks. No additional forces are needed. As we increase the number of rods, we obtain progressively more complex assemblies. Our algorithm is still able to simulate these coherent locks on bigger examples subject to large boundary motions. As we further increase the resolution, we observe that locks now wind around one another to form even more elaborate assemblies. The level of contact complexity grows so quickly that nearly all rods are intertwined into a single connected structure containing up to 1.7 million contacts. Our method is also able to capture stable resting configurations. In this example, rotating bristles collide with one another in a violent fashion. When we stop the rotations, our algorithm simulates the rest configuration without jitters or instabilities. In this example, we drop free debris into the rotating bristles. Some pieces of debris are captured by contact and rotate with the bristles, while other pieces of debris are quickly ejected. Here, we insert an assembly of hairs into the bristles. The bristles capture the hair, and contact winds the hair into a braid-like configuration. This braid remains stable and coherent as we remove the assembly from the bristles. Finally, our method enables the simulation of challenging scenarios, like this scene in which the fine teeth of a comb remove tangles from hairs.